Hi everyone, welcome to Optical Quality 101. The quality of a binocular or scope will have a direct impact on many optical characteristics, including center resolution, edge sharpness, field curvature, chromatic aberration, brightness and contrast, and color tone. Let's take a look at how these things affect what you see. It's a nice day, so let's go birding. Let's imagine we're looking through a binocular or spotting scope at this yellow warbler. First, let's look at center resolution. In any optic, the best resolution will be in the center of the field of view. But as we lower the glass quality, you will start to notice a decrease in clarity. The warbler's feathers begin to blend into one another, and small details disappear. Generally, more expensive optics using higher grade glass will provide crisper, clearer images, allowing you to see a higher level of detail. Next, let's look at edge-to-edge -edge sharpness. Bargain optics often lose clarity toward the edge of the field of view. You can see that as we increase optical quality, the sharpness will extend to the very edges of the field. But even some of the highest quality optics will lose some degree of sharpness at the edges. Now let's look at field curvature. This is another type of lens distortion which increases toward the edge of the field of view, causing lines that should be straight, like the fence and horizon, to appear curved. Generally, the effects of field curvature will be minimized in high-end optics. The remaining types of distortion affect color, so we'll need to look at something with a little more contrast. Let's see what we can find. Ah, there we are. This yellow-throated warbler should work. Let's zoom back in. In this example, as we lower the glass quality, notice how the contrasting areas on the bird's wing begin to show a purple color fringing. This is a type of color distortion called chromatic aberration. Though all optics have some degree of this distortion, it tends to be more prominent in less expensive binoculars. Now let's look at brightness and contrast. As is the case with other optical characteristics, optics with lower glass quality won't be as bright and may appear washed out. Higher grade glass generally delivers a brighter image with more pleasing contrast. And finally, we have color tone. Naturally, we all want our binocular to show colors that are true to life. Some binoculars do this better than others. This will be most obvious in the whites of an image, such as clouds or the white feathers of this warbler. The color of an optic may appear as a warm tone, which we see as a yellowish hue a cool tone, which appears as a bluish hue, or ideally the color tone will be neutral. Whites look white, and all colors are true to life. We hope this has been helpful in understanding the many differences in optical quality. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please visit us at eagleoptics.com or call us at 800-289-1132. Thanks for watching.